You see that standard light switch? Well, we're going to remove that and put in a dimmer switch. You want to know how to put in a dimmer switch? Stick around. Here's the switch we're going to put in, and it's a different style. It's a paddle on off. And see, this one has a little nib right there, and that's your dimmer. Up for high, down for low. That's what we're going to install. Now before you do anything, and I mean anything, turn your light switch on, verify that your lights work, then you're going to go outside to your electrical panel, you're going to find the associated breaker for that. Turn the breaker off so that we know there's no power to this light switch. That's my next step. Kind of in a tight area. I think you're going to be able to see this. First have to undo this cover plate. And this is an old style standard single pole light switch. I'm going to put in a standard single pole dimmer switch. Okay, just recently spray textured this. I've already got the power off to this. I've already checked all that. The lights are off. The breaker is off. Okay, so the next step is to unscrew this switch. And you're going to see two screws, one down here at the bottom and one up here at the top. Okay, yeah. go ahead and unscrew those now. We're going to pull that out of the wall. Now I'm going to gently pull this out and it's got a white wire and a black wire going to it and I, and I flip it around on the other side and see there's two screws there. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and undo these two screws. Man, there's not much wire sticking out of that box, is there? Usually there's about six inches there. Well, they didn't do us any favors there, did they? Okay, so I'm going to just take my screwdriver. You don't want to do this hot. You could shock yourself. You're a professional electrician. They've got certain ways they could probably do this without getting shocked. Okay. You get shocked. And at this point, don't ask yourself any questions about white and black wires. There's supposed to be a black wire, a power wire to each one, but I'm going to explain this here in a minute. Okay, now there's a curly Q on the end of each wire. And I might be able to take my screwdriver and kind of tweak on it a little bit, you know, and then try to fish this out, maybe bend a wire and kind of push up on it a little bit. And you know what? There's a little something on the side. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I've got that one. Now I can unscrew this one or just pull it off like that. Now, if you can't get it, you can't get in there and get that curly cue off. If you want, you can undo this screw here. It takes it seems like it's a little bit hard to get off. It's designed that way. Okay. You can unscrew that and take it off that way. Okay. That's your next step. What you could also do is you could take the old switch and you can put the cover plate back on it and put the screws back on it. And you could save this in case another one of your switches goes out. Mm -hmm in your house or whatever, okay? If you think you need to save that, you can. 